today we're gonna have here Okay, then good morning. I sorry, sorry. Good evening, then. Good evening. Okay, today we can have here unit 4.1 writing. Okay, let us stop because the last time we had, we have reading. Okay, let us move now to unit 4.1 writing. Okay, so in writing activity, we have here, okay, the same thing. Okay, some sentences. Here are some sentences about the student who is living in a flat. For each question, complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first. Okay, so like what we had before, we had to complete it. Okay, so here this one. Okay, please try to to read the first sentence and think about its meaning. I know you already knew about this one. Okay. So this, please try to answer.
I'm finished. So here, my friend told me that I could stay in his flat. Okay, so my friend said you can stay in my flat. Let me see. Okay, can. You can stay in my flat. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Second, I started living here two months ago. So it means a stance. I started... I started living here two months ago. So, for two months ago, I started living here. So, I have lived her. Okay. What's the answer? Since two months ago. So, it means since two months ago, I already live here. So, two months ago. Okay. Three. This is the first time I have lived in a city. Okay. So, this is, if you were going to understand, this is the first time I have lived in a city. Okay. I have, I didn't live in a city. Okay. I never lived in the city before. Okay. You can actually use didn't live. Okay. So, it means didn't live and never lived. Is actually uh, a little bit the same. But what we happened here, we already use have. Okay. So uh, then we cannot use have and didn't at the same time. I have didn't. It could be, you will say, I haven't lived, have not. But two helping verbs at the same time, like have and didn't, <coughs> is not acceptable. Okay. Or you cannot say probably I didn't have. You will not say I have didn't. You could probably say I didn't have any houses here, any house here to live. Okay. So reverse, I didn't have. Do not say I have didn't. Okay. Next, the flat has two bedrooms. The flat has two bedrooms. Okay. This is good. There are two bedrooms in my flat. Okay, very good. My bedroom is too small for all my books. Okay, my bedroom is not, yeah, too large or too big enough or cannot fit, cannot fit for all my books. Okay, my bedroom cannot fit for all my books. So it could be you have the point. Okay, next here, in part two. Okay, now, this one, this is the writing activity, and this is what really I want you to emphasize. Okay, this will practice and enhance more of your writing knowledge and skills. So, you have just joined a club in your area. Okay, so in the school, we have math club, English club, dance club, social club, and a lot more, okay? So, and you think your English <coughs> friend Max, okay, would enjoy going there with you or your friend really wants to be part in the English club. And write an email to Max and in your email, you should first explain which club you have joined. Example, Max, I've joined English club. I joined math club. Suggest second, Max should visit the club. He will suggest he should visit the club, which you also joined because Max likes to join in your club. Okay. Three, you say what you could do there together. Okay. Since the two of you are in the same club, you have to explain. Sorry. You have to explain to Max that. Okay, that you have to plan what you could do together. What you could do there together. Example in the math club. What can you probably contribute in the math club? Okay, so you have to email to Max about these three questions. Okay, go. Okay, I can probably, if you want, I, I will make a right here. Uh, uh, wait, I wait one. So it's, it's convenient for you or if you want uh, sorry. 
Okay. If you want, you're gonna make it white. You can write here if you want. Chills. Okay, Raka. Okay, wait for a minute then. I will just go to the bathroom. I will. I like. I like. Okay. Yeah, you wait for teacher. Wow. Teacher will go to the bathroom for a minute. I will pee. Okay, I'm here. Where's my...
Con nó ăn được nhiều không anh? Con nó ăn được nhiều không? <cười> Okay, let me see here. Okay, hello, Max. Okay. Yesterday, I joined. Okay, look at Lee. Uh, Lee, sorry. Then, okay. So, I joined. Oh, sorry, why it's white? Okay, I joined. Okay, you will put here. A uh, club. A uh, club english or an english club in my school i familiar lots of new friends i am familiar with lots of my new friends they're so friendly okay ops it's too late i had to go to sleep goodbye oh my god your letter is too short for your friend okay anyway you just tell it there that you are you joined, you inform your friend that you joined in the English club. So then please be know that, okay, this is do not use um for the past tense. Okay, you can say I joined because you already had yesterday. Yesterday is past tense. And of course, you will have to, okay, you will have to use the verb joined which is past tense also okay next one let us have here thank you then okay oh sorry then okay next one Okay, so next one we have. Okay. I will erase this. Okay, so like this example, okay, what, up, what I am asking, I have to cover up the three questions. Hello, Max, I am writing to you to ask that you can join our club okay this club is to make some foreign friends i know that you want to learn french and you don't have any french friends i want to learn french as well if you join us you can learn french with me i still i will be okay you know what this one is wrong it should be i will be waiting for your reply not i will waiting i will be waiting for your reply by so in this one okay so first max is trying to i don't know this friend is trying to tell max okay i am writing his intention why he joined the club because he want to make some foreign friends and what she gonna do or he gonna do i want to learn I want to learn French as well. If you join, okay, us, you can learn a French with me. So this is the subject why he wants to learn or be in the English club, in the club where there are 
foreign friends, particularly the French. Okay. Okay, people from France. Okay, so here, write answer to one of the questions seven or eight in this part. Okay, so this is part of a letter that you receive from a friend in the USA. So I guess there are many traditional festivals in your country. What is the most important one for you in Vietnam? So you've got many festivals, you've got many holidays. So what do you think is the most important one? And why do people celebrate this festival? Okay, right? And tell me all about it. Okay, write a letter answering your questions, your friend questions. Okay, remember then in this assessment for writing, you will have subscales like the content, communicative achievement, organization, and language. Okay, content focus on how well the candidate has fulfilled the task. Communicative achievement, it focus on how appropriate the writing is for the task. Okay, so you have to take note, you have to write a letter. Organization focus on the way the student or the candidate puts together the piece of writing, how he construct the letter. Three, four, language focuses on vocabulary and grammar. Okay, so these are the four Okay, assessment skills, content, communication, achievement, organization, and language. Okay, so now start now then. Okay, you can write in the chat box if you don't like the white one. Okay, you pop at the pop up.
I finish. This part of a letter you received from a friend in the USA. So here in Vietnam, it's hard, hard, a lot, it's hard, a lot of traditional festivals. But the most important festival is the national day. Okay, it is, is the national day. Okay. I think the National Day is important because it celebrates. Uh, I think the National Day is important because it the celebration. Uh, it is the celebration of the Liberate Day. So it means it is the celebration of the Liberate Day. Of the it is the in Vietnam it we have uh, in Vietnam had a lot of traditional festival okay you can say hard of okay traditional festivals but the most important festival important important is national day i think the national day is important because it is the celebration of the liberate day oh liberate day um uh, i am not familiar with liberate day in the time but it is a celebration. So it means celebration. You have to celebrate for that. Okay. Another one here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, mean for writing this one. So this is about traditional festivals in your country. So in the Philippines, we also have a lot of traditional festivals like Christmas, like New Year, like All Souls Day, All Saints Day. And we have Independence Day and we have Labor Day. So, but the most um, treasure, most treasured and most important is the Christmas Day. So Filipino people living in the Philippines really love to celebrate Christmas Day. Okay, that is their most and most awaited moment, the Christmas Day. They love it. They really love the Christmas Day. Okay. It's very important for them. So in Christmas Day, we do celebrate here uh, with the family, with friends. We do have fireworks. We eat. Uh, what else? Uh, we do have party together with the family. So family is the most important thing. Okay, so here, writing an informal letter. Look at this, okay? I am looking forward to seeing you. I can't wait to see you soon. I can't wait to hear from you. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. I hope to hear from you soon. See you soon. Send my love to you. Okay, in the informal letter, you can see here, some contraction like can't and can't because if you were gonna write a formal letter there should be no contraction you have to spell it out like can't it should be cannot you have to spell it out that is for contraction okay you have to spell it out so no contraction for formal letter but since this is informal you can see here some of the words are repeated like soon you can see soon from you soon see you soon from you soon like that is being repeated so that is 
informal. In a formal way, it should be arranged accordingly. It should be in place how you write the letter. So you cannot, first, you cannot repeat too much. Second, you cannot use the contraction like shortening of word. I haven't, I can't, like that. Okay? Okay, so then we don't have enough time. We only have two minutes. Okay, two minutes left here. Okay, so. Okay, so by the way, most of the ending or the salutation, oh, sorry. Most of the salutation then are, okay. Like what is example? Like best wishes, best kindly or kind regard or best regards okay so these are some example of salutations or at the end of the sentence like you will say goodbye best regards teacher n okay so for now then teacher n will say goodbye okay because i have another class and okay i will just talk to your mom the center of your classes so there are uh, uh there are changes so but monday i am okay but on the other day i can pro by the way saturday are you free on saturday 7 p.m i don't know you don't know yeah. oh saturday 7 p.m are you free or 8 p.m your mom told me 8 p.m. Okay, I will just ask you, mom, okay? So bye for now. Bye.